In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. 500 years later, he invented Halo. We are the Generic Review Guys, and this is Halo Anniversary. Chris Grant from the Generic Review Guys. With me to my right is Alexi Lechdog. How's it going, Alexi? I'm always good, Chris Vibe Vibe. Now tell me, what game are you excited to review? Halo 1 Anniversary. You're damn right. I am right. With the new uh, edition of the Halo Anniversary remake, uh, the, the new graphics versus the old graphics was something that I found really interesting and, um, you know, I, I, I used to actually quite a lot. I didn't think I was going to use it. I thought I'd just use the new ones, but Swapping between the new and old, it's really cool to see how the maps really haven't changed at all. And, structurally. Well, structurally, but the new graphics are just really, really cool to use. I mainly had it on the new ones, I don't know about you, but it was just cool to be able to swap it back and forth to see what the sniper looks like, the new version, as compared to the old version. I actually played through the game on the old graphics, uh, for nostalgia's sake, and but when you switch to the new graphics, it's like a whole new game. But with the same, with the feeling of the first game, I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's, it's twice as good as the first one. Yeah. And it's the same thing. It's just yeah. I loved it. I switched between the graphics pretty regularly, but played mostly on the, on the old graphics. After five Halo games since Halo One, I found going back, the gameplay is just so much smoother and crisper, and just a lot more a beefy. Yeah. If you know what I mean. The the weapons in Halo One are just noticeably more better, p more powerful, more accurate than any other of the Halo games. And yeah. I love it. I fucking love it. Yeah, exactly. I was thinking the exact same thing. When I, when I first played the Anniversary or Halo 1 remake, I really thought that, um, especially the pistol, it's just such a fun weapon to use. It's so, you know, crisp and clean. And, uh, and the assault rifle, I mean, I played Halo 3 with the assault rifle and it's really just so boring to use. but. In the anniversary, it was just so fun. Like the noises were so up with my surround sound headset, really felt like I was engaged in it. And when I play with vibration, when you're using the assault rifle in any other games, it feels like a like a plastic gun. And when you take plastic it back colors. to Halo Anniversary or Halo One, it's just such a powerful weapon. And with the updated graphics and the sparks flying off it, and it's just a great thing to use. Yeah, it's, it's a fun. great killing machine. Pretty much, and it's actually, you know, without Bloom as well, I, I always keep comparing things without Bloom because I seem to enjoy ever since Halo Reach, which was such a fail. Um, I, I really think that it's just so consistent, like, even using the other guns, such as the plasma pistol, oh, was, yeah. was really fun, like, it, it's, it, there's, there's not as many weapons in Halo 1 as the other Halos, but in Halo 1, where it all started, it really made a big, a good platform for first person shooters. It did, but... What made it so good was the weapons, and because back then there was not many games with a weapon choice. You'd have it a pistol and SMG. That's about it. Yeah. In this, you have the sniper rifle, which is the best feeling sniper rifle you'll ever use in a game. Yeah, is exactly. in Halo One. Yeah, no, it, without a doubt. Oh, when you chuck on that night vision and you just destroy and covenant, it's so good. Yeah, exactly. And the needler. How good's the needler? Yeah. It is just the coolest sounding gun. Even when you're reloading it, it sounds oh, like it's you know. All the little pink slots just line up and it sounds great. Chief? Chief, can you hear me? Well, Chris, personally, Halo or and Halo Anniversary is one of the best games I've ever played and one of the most engulfing experiences I've had in a video game. And it really paved the way for future games and online gaming and online tournaments. And we'll talk about that in another video. I give it a generic rating of 9 out of 10. Well, I also agree with uh, it being one of my favourite games. Uh, I give it a, a 8 out of 10, because I feel like the multiplayer was lacking a little bit, and it took away a little bit from the experience, but I still really enjoyed it, and that is my review. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. 
Um, I'm Chris Grant from the Generic Review Guys. And I'm Lecto from the Generic Review Guys. And we'll see you next time.